Hey everyone, and welcome back to the galaxy. Today, we will be learning how to place text within an environment in a creative way. I found that this effect is easiest to start out with on front-centered hallways. So, in my project, I'm starting with an image of a hallway. Next, I'm going to use the text tool and type out some text. I will also change the color of this text to white. Then I'm going to duplicate this layer. Which will be the reflection. I'm going to hide that reflection layer for now and focus on our original text layer. After we have finalized this text, we can select the perspective tool and click on our text. Using this tool, I can edit the perspective of the text to align with the perspective of the photograph. Use the lines in your original photograph to help you align your text in the most natural way. I am using the lines from the walls, floor, and ceiling to make sure the perspective is believable and matches that of the image. After we've created a new perspective for our text layer, we can do the same with the reflection layer. After we have made the reflection layer active, we can go up to Layer, Transform, Flip Vertically. Then, again using the Perspective tool, we will place this reflection beneath the original text layer to create a believable effect. Now I'm going to repeat those same steps, but with text on the right side of the photograph. A little trick you can use to align the perspective of the second part of the text and reflection with the first is creating guides that align with the farthest points of our original text, as well as the starting point of the first letter in our original text. You can do the same for the reflection points as well. To create guides, simply drag down from the vertical and horizontal rule bars. If you can't see these, go up to View, Show Rulers, and while you're at it, make sure that Show Guides is also selected. Then again, I will use the Perspective tool to edit the perspective of the new text and its reflection. Now we are going to merge the original text layers together by dragging the two original text layers together and right-clicking on the topmost original text layer and selecting Merge Down. Then we are going to make sure the two reflection layers are together and merge these as well. Next, we are going to select our newly merged reflection layer and go up to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Then, adjust the intensity of this effect until you are happy with its appearance. I like to bring up the size of both X and Y until the borders of the text are pretty blended. I still want to retain some of this outline so we can see that it's a direct reflection. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, some of my letters aren't quite lined up. We just want to create this effect of a reflection. Once I'm happy with the effect, I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to change the mode of this layer to Overlay. This way it lets some color information from the background through, and makes the reflection a little bit more believable. Next, we can select our merged text layer and go up to Filters, Light and Shadow, down to Drop Shadow. Again, we want to create a subtle effect so the text sits more naturally within the photograph. 
I usually like to create a subtle effect with this, just to bring out a little more contrast. If I hit preview, you can see the small amount that this effect creates. And that's it. You now have the tools to place text within an environment in a more natural way. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing for more awesome content. Let us know if you found this tutorial helpful by liking this video and leaving us a comment. Thanks for watching.